For the next 40 days, I'm going to be bringing out more of spiritual, faith-based content. I'm a Christian. If you are coming across my channel for the first time, hi guys good day from wherever you're watching if you're coming across this beautiful place for the first time you're welcome to my youtube channel for my returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back again and again to check up on me i really appreciate your support so today's video is going to, is going to be a different one from my kind of content i mentioned on a live stream that i made a few days ago that i'll be embarking on the 40 days fasting and prayer program and it's starting today saturday 22nd of june yay i thought of bringing up content surrounding um fasting and all and i hope you guys enjoy this fasting series so a, a little disclaimer before i start this series of fasting i know as a christian we are not supposed to announce our fasting that oh i'm fasting i'm fasting no but this video, this series is not going to be about me announcing my fasting, okay? It's just because I'm a content creator and I'm a Christian and it's part of my lifestyle to show you what I do as a Christian. So I'm not doing this fasting series to, pro to proclaim or to advertise myself that, oh, I'm holy, I can fast, I can no, 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 no. That's not the reason. It's just to create my content, my Christian content for anyone that I might be useful for, okay? Yeah, let's delve straight into the video. What is fasting? Fasting is when you abstain from food and drinks. You intentionally abstain from food and drinks for various reasons, okay? You can decide to fast for a couple of reasons, which I'm going to mention some of them in this video, okay? It's not about, it's not about abstaining from food and drink alone. There are some things that you can also abstain from that you can also count as fasting. Like the use of social media. You can do social media fast. You can do... Um, Oh, I don't want to drink this kind of this kind of substance. Maybe you are on a, a particular substance that you like to take that you are kind of addicted to. You might say, I want to take a fast. It might be something as little as Coca-Cola. You can do Coca-Cola fast. You can do rice fast. If you say that, oh, I've been I've been taking this thing too much. I want to take a break. I want to fast on this thing. So fasting means when you just when you when you when you try to abstain from something that you love, love, love so much. So that is what fasting so, is. That brings me to why do we need to fast? We fast for so many reasons. Fasting could be of three categories. You could fast for spiritual purpose. You could fast for medical purpose or for experimental purpose. Okay? If you have to undergo a surgery, they are going to tell you to stop eating at a particular time. Maybe 12 hours to your surgery. And if you want to do some medical tests like blood sugar tests, they will tell you to fast, to not eat anything before you come for the test. That's another form of fasting. There are a lot of medical purposes that can make you to fast. That, this kind of fast will be prescribed to you by the doctor. It's the doctor that will tell you, you need to fast, you need to not to eat this, you need not to drink that. So that is a medical kind of fasting. Okay, okay. talking about experimental fasting, you can decide to, to stop eating something for a particular time that you want to know the effect it's going to have on your system. Like, if you like eating lettuce and you, you think it's having adverse effect on you, you can try to abstain from it for a particular period of time. Then you do some tests. And then if you see that it doesn't add or it doesn't take away from you, then you, you come to the conclusion that, oh, spinach is good for me. Lettuce is good for me. Okay, that's a kind of experiment. You are trying to experiment. I'm an animal scientist and we do it a lot in animal world. We give our animals a kind of food. We take out some ingredients from their feed in order to experiment the effects of that feed stuff on their system. Humans can also do that as well. So that is an experimental fasting. But the one I'm going to be talking about in this video is spiritual fasting. Spiritual fasting is the one you do as a Christian. Muslims also do their own fasting, but the one I'm going to be talking about is the Christian kind of fasting, okay? So talking about the Christian kind of fasting, it could be in various ways as well. We have we have one that is called the absolute fasting. The absolute fasting is the one that you don't eat anything throughout the fasting time. Like if you are going to be fasting for three days, you are not going to be eating, you are not going to be drinking anything throughout those three days. And we have examples in the Bible. Jesus Christ fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Because it was stated 40 days and 40 nights, that means he didn't eat during the day and he didn't eat at, at night. So that means it was a marathon kind of fasting. Also in the book of Esther, when Esther fasted 
the Bible said Esther didn't eat days, three days and three nights. So that is an absolute kind of fasting, a fasting that you will not taste water or food throughout the stipulated time of the fast. This kind of fasting is not for the faint hearted. It can also be called marathon fasting. So this should not be done by someone that is not strong enough. And before you embark on this kind of fasting, you have to consult your medical practitioner. You have to make sure you are fit in all aspects, okay? Another one we have is the partial kind of fasting. This one is just like, you still be eating something, you still be drinking something, but you have to limit what you'll be eating. Let me explain this to you very well. Some people call it white fasting. In Nigeria, we call it white fasting. It means throughout this period of time, probably seven days, I will only be drinking pap. What we call pap in Nigeria is what you make, you, this, this kind of corn pudding that you make by blending, by soaking your corn and then blending it after about three days. Then you, you cook it like you are cooking like yogurt or custard. It will have that consistency of yogurt or custard. That is what pap is. Some people do that kind of partial fasting. They will be drinking pap throughout the fasting period or they, they will be eating food that has no salt, that has no sweetener. It is also a kind of fasting. This is recommended for aged people, like people that are 70 years, 80 years old, because they are old, they are, they, are not, they are not strong enough to not eat anything throughout the day. And if people that have ulcer or any other medical condition and they still want to embark on fasting, they can do this partial fasting. They can be drinking pap throughout the day. They can be eating a kind of vegetable throughout the day. But the aim is do not put salt, do not put sugar, or any form of sweetener in whatever you'll be eating, okay? And then let me let me let me bring this out. If you want to be doing partial fasting, it's not you, it's not, it's not a time for you to now bring out like a big bowl of pap and be drinking. No, this kind of partial fasting has also been seen in the Bible. In the case of Daniel, when Daniel was taken in captive to Babylon, we saw that Daniel did not eat all the yummy food that the king's men were providing for them. Daniel decided to be eating only vegetables. The Bible even made mention he was eating cucumbers and beans alone throughout their stay, whereas they provided a lot of sweet and yummy food for them. Then we have one that we call the intermittent fasting or the one meal a day. People call it OMAD, one meal a day. This kind of one meal a day, it means that you only eat once in a day, then you fast for a particular window. You fast, okay. Probably between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. And this one minute day fasting is the kind that I am into. It is very convenient for me. But I advise, if you want to go into one meal a day kind of fasting, you have to choose a particular time, a definite time. That is when you are going to see results, even in your health. If you want to be eating 6 p.m. every day, make it 6 p.m. uniformly. It's not like you eat 6 p.m. today, you eat 4 p.m. tomorrow, 3 p.m. the next day. No, it's not going to work like that. Choose a particular time that you break your fast every day. That is one meal a day fasting or intermittent fasting. That being said, this, this fasting that we're talking about can be done individually or corporately. Individually in the sense that you can decide to choose a fasting day for yourself that, oh, every Wednesday I want to be fasting, every Monday I want to be fasting, or a group of people can, can, can come together and say, oh, let's choose a day to fast. We have examples of, of those in the Bible as well. Someone will call people together, oh, people, let's come together, let's fast for this particular thing that is happening. It is called corporate fasting and it could be individual. Now, let's talk well. about the benefits of fasting. There are lots and lots and lots of benefits of fasting. One of the benefits is that it makes you spiritually strong and disciplined. Like for you to be able to discipline yourself that I'm not going to eat for a particular period of time, it takes, it takes grace, it takes discipline for you not to eat. And you'll be seeing what you like, you'll be seeing what you love and you'll be able to eat it. It takes grace. So fasting makes you to become more disciplined it takes discipline for you to see something you like and not being able to eat it, okay? That means fasting enables you to be able to subject your body under control. It also teaches you humility. Fasting teaches humility. There is no way you will be fasting that you will not be humble. First of all, you will be weak. Physically, you will be weak. You will not be strong. So fasting will humble you. In short, fasting is going to humble you. So that's another benefit. For those period of time, you'll find yourself being humble. The things you do before, maybe you like going out, going about, you see that you, you won't be able to do all those things. Fasting is going to humble you. That's another benefit of fasting. It also enhances your prayer life. There is no way you will fast and you will not, be able, and, and you, and, and you not pray. If you are fasting, you will want to pray. So fasting also builds 
your prayer life it enhances your prayer life and mind you if you are fasting and you are not praying you are just doing hunger strike or you are doing weight loss journey so in order for your for your fasting period to not be like a uh, hunger strike or weight loss journey add prayers to your fasting and fasting is going to enhance you it's going to encourage you to pray more fasting also makes you to get spiritual knowledge spiritual understanding of things you know when you are fasting and you are humble you no know, you are praying you are consecrated the more you pray during your fasting period it makes you think more it makes you it makes you it makes you it makes you get in, insights it makes you get revelations of things it opens it widens your horizon it, it widens your your thinking you know you just you just want to dig deep more into the things of the spirit the last that so i have here is that it is even of physical um importance like health wisely fasting is going to help you it has been seen reports a lot of reports have been seen that fasting helps to, to cure a lot of diseases you know even it helps in in, in regulating the blood sugar it helps in, in in curing diabetes some people have testified to it that when they did a kind of fasting it made them feel more better it made them feel physically fit it made them feel emotionally stable and all so this is going to be the end of this particular video i'm still going to be coming with more of this fasting series going forward if you have any other contribution please let's continue the conversation in the comment section don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you have not done so already and let me see your comment down below i'm going to catch you in my next video bye bye